Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing an overview team building guide of the new category full power uh, on top of going over the ultra full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Now I was going to go and do an actual video including the other new GT Kid Goku. Uh, I decided not to do that because Dokkan Battle Builder still has him with the shocking, uh, not the shocking speed, the shattering the limit link and not the fierce battle link. So I want to make sure I give you the most appropriate information. And since this is probably going to be more the, one of the more anticipated team building guides, I figured let me get it out. Now, um, I will be doing the Frieza's. So that means the uh, the new T, the Frieza that goes TUR and the free to play one uh, in one video, including the Korra. I'm going to do the Korra along with that video. Maybe I'll do one separate with him. Um, just because it depends on time constraints and everything. Um, I'm also going to do one with the two with the two new cells. Uh, so we have that to look forward to. And I'm going to do another linking guide with the Android. So this is going to be more team building guide. The other ones are going to be more for, I guess, linking buddies and what teams they link that they, they'll link better on. So um, we have that going and I'll let you know in the future that that's going to be all released throughout this week. I figured let's do this full team building guide on all this, including I will be doing the other world tournament warriors as well for the JP side, since it is a little bit different than the global side. Uh, that's all going to be going on until the third year anniversary gets released. And as you know, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on for the global side. But anyway, I don't mean to take up too much time. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. Decisive Blow Ultra Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. If you noticed up over here, the title is different, which means he can link with the other Super Saiyan 4 Goku if you're running like a Heroes team or something like that. That's actually really good. Uh, leader skill is full power category key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 150% or super tech type key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 90%. It's actually really awesome. That means you could run super tech types, which means like someone like the uh, Super Vegito, the base form Super Vegito as a support unit can be run or the Super Saiyan 2 TUR Gohan can be run because they're both good support units for tech teams. So, um, or for, for allies, I'm sorry, not for tech teams, but for allies. And since they're at least getting a 90% buff, they'll at least be able to tank and hit a little bit harder and you still get the HP buff from that. Uh, super attack is Dragon Fist, causes immense damage to the enemy, greatly lowers defense. Passive skill is accumulation of power attack plus 100 percent plus an additional attack and defense plus uh 70 percent for the hp you have remaining the higher the hp the greater the boost uh, i don't know the exact uh, percentages on when when it goes down but um i'm assuming it's going to be like you know every, maybe every 12 percent or something like that maybe 14 percent, whatever it comes out to uh he also has a medium chance of evading the enemy super attack with counter and countering with tremendous power link skills are super saiyan saiyan roar uh, prepared for battle, shocking speed, the Saiyan lineage GT, and fierce battle. Really nice link skill set. Categories are pure Saiyan, Shadow, Dragon, Saga, which is actually so awesome because he can link with the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Um, and also Gogeta is also available on that as well, keep that in mind. Uh, and he also is part, obviously, the full power category since he is the leader for it. Max stats are going to be HP of 10,740, attack of 12,086. That's a really high attack for a non-LR. Um, defense of 5,148. Uh, his 12 key multiplier is 150%. When he counters that tremendous uh, the tremendous power multiplier, it is a 300%. Counterattacks can be criticals, as always. Uh, medium chance uh, and passive for encountering is 30%, so he can counter with a 30% chance when having a super attack launched on him. Obviously, Gogeta is better for countering. Um, and how the leader skill works out uh, as normal, you get the full uh, power category buff first. If you don't meet the criteria, you'll be checked to see if you are a super tech type. And if you are a super tech type but not part of full uh, power, you get the 90% buff. So pretty standard stuff. Um, in terms of best linking guys in the game, uh, obviously the Super Saiyan 4s are going to be the best that he can link with. Uh, it's just because they're Super Saiyan 4s, they they have the same exact link skills uh, between them, at least with the, uh, yeah, actually they all pretty much have the same thing. You have Saiyan Roar, Fierce Battle, uh, Prepared for Battle, GT, Shocking Speed, and Super Saiyan. So, I mean, two, four, six, uh, so they have six key, which means always gu guaranteed super attacks when linked together when on a, a leader, if they're like on a team with leaders that give you three or more key. Um, and they get, what, 25, 50% attack buff just by linking together. The only thing here is the Vegeta doesn't have his Saiyan Pride link hit off, which kind of stinks, but uh, it is there, it is available. I mean, it, it is available for you if you have something like the Tora or something like that for a mono. Uh, well, I guess it depends on the team you're running. Um, but yes, yeah, so they, they are here. These are the best linking buddies. Uh, the only thing that stinks is in terms of full power, there's really no one, none of, neither of these guys can really help you out there. In terms of the Shadow Dragon team, you can link him with the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, which is very, very useful. You also have the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the GT Vegeta, and the GT Trunks. GT Trunks is attack plus 100%, which is really awesome, but supreme damage. Uh, Vegeta is attack plus 90% when HP is 99% or below, which is most of the time. Uh, obviously, the Gogeta and the Vegeta. 
So Vegeta and him are going to be best linking buddies if you're running the that team, the uh, the um, uh, Shen Shenron team. What is it actually called? It is the um, Shadow Dragon Saga team. Running the Shadow Saga, the Shadow Dragon Saga. <laughs> Man, I can't speak. Uh, these two are definitely going to be staples. You're going to want these two on the team together. They both hit very well. Uh, Vegeta definitely tanks very well, so you want to keep that in mind. Um, you can throw Gogeta on there as well. He definitely hits very hard. Uh, but if you have Omega, you're probably going to want to throw Sin Shenron in there anyway, because Omega and Sin are definitely best linking buddies. Um, he can be off rotation if you want to. It's just not going to be optimized uh, as much. But he definitely has a damage output to utilize it. But in terms of for that team, you're definitely going to want to throw at least a Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta if you don't have him, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, if not either of these two. Though Vegeta is a World Tournament reward, and the Trunks is a summonable one. So there you go. Uh, next one is going to be the Pure Saiyans team. Pure Saiyans team, uh, unfortunately, there's nothing with more more than four Link skills. But, yo, you got LR Gohan in here. You know what I'm saying? So you have LR Gohan. You have the Kaioken Goku. The Kai Let me go ahead and hit translate to English. I didn't do that before. Um, so he has, what, two key and 25%. The LR Gohan, which I think is just awesome. I'm very happy that um, these two actually link together. And LR Gohan's part of his category. Uh, but we'll get into that in a second. Uh, Super Saiyan, uh, shocking speed, uh, prepared for battle. So four key, 25% attack buff, really awesome. This is just the TUR variant. LR Broly um, and him do, do link very well as well. Three key and 25%. Uh, that's not horrible. It's not great for LR Broly. LR Broly, if you're going up against a single opponent, you definitely want him to get the 18 plus off. But at least uh, he does have some good link skills. And the other Broly, the same exact one. So three key. So if you're running on a uh, key plus six plus... Whatever the uh, stat buff is over here for the pure Saiyans, um, they're, they're at least going to be able to get three front, well, uh, front, almost from three key from launching a 12 key super attack. So in my opinion, you would have Broly on the outside if you're running him with Broly or Broly right in the middle. So that way he gets the the buffs from whoever is on the other side. So that's how I would run it anyway. Just because you only need three key for the Super Saiyan 4 Goku um, and you don't, you need more, you would want more for the Broly. Uh, but anyway, that's for the Pure Saiyans team. And now in terms of for the pure for full power team, now this is just pretty much everyone who I think is really awesome to have on this team. Like different, like I kind of coordinated them based off of their cards and stuff. So as uh, you see up here, Universe 6 team is up over here. Um, all of them link very well together. I'm not going to say we're on the Kaba, but I mean, you can. So these three um, can be on, put on that team. They're very good. You have the two Kaioken Gokus. You have the Easy A Cell. The other Cell's part of it, but the Easy A Cell is definitely a lot better to run on here. You have the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta Evolution. Uh, definitely going to be want to run him on the team. He is one of the newer units in game anyway. You definitely want to have him. The LR Gohan or the other Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Both of them are good choices. Obviously, if you have LR Gohan, you're going to want to run him. You have LR Bojack as well, which is definitely something. Someone who uh, who is definitely going to do some decent damage. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think he links that well with anyone on this team, but you can run him. It looks like he only has uh, shares at most two link skills with people. I guess if you have a TUR Bojack, is his team Bojack, you could link the two of them together. And the, the other Bojacks are on here, as you see over here. So you could link them uh, together if you want to. But LR Bojack's available here. The two Omega Shenrons, unfortunately, Sin Shenron's not here. Uh, you do have the choice between your freezes. You have the two, the Golden Frieza, Golden Angel Frieza, and Full Power Frieza. Unfortunately, Korra, for some reason, is not here. I think Korra should be on here, uh, but he is not. Uh, but you can link these guys together if you want to, if you like your freezes. The LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku and the, the Easy A Goku are both on here, which is awesome. And you got your Brolies, which are on here. So you have a lot of different choices depending on who you actually want to run and what villains, what teams you actually like. So go ahead and look into that uh, in terms of who you have available. Go ahead, check out um, the dbz.space. They can help you out. The, the actual website will help you out in terms of who is part of the category. Uh, or you go over to the wiki. I always use the dbz wiki as well. Uh, both of them are good. Um, in terms of best links or linking uh, types, now this is what I came up with in my opinion. Um, I'm going to run most likely if I was to pull him uh, when it comes to global him with LR Broly. I know LR Broly is definitely a very good unit. Um, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta is definitely another staple on the team. Uh, what is he? Attack plus 120%, defense plus 60% up. Um, and I, so, something else about getting an additional attack. I'll have to go into the wiki and look. But he's a very good unit. Um, I would definitely recommend having him on the team. He is a staple. Actually, I do also have another team I'm going to talk about. Um, that one's, uh, you know, compliments, compliments to the Reddit. Um, but yeah, so you have the LR Gohan. Definitely want LR Gohan up on here along with the LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, and you also have the two Friezas that link very well together. Full Power Frieza and the Angel Golden Frieza. Or you can go ahead and throw the, um, the Technique Frieza because he is a tank and he links very, very well with the Angel Golden Frieza. So they are going to be very good together as well. Um, 
Kale is on here. I know D Free runs Kale. I did see I did see D Free's video when he was running his uh, his full power team. That was pretty awesome seeing her up in there. She's pretty good. She's also pretty good for LR Gohan because she's a key orb manipulator. So I mean, maybe if you want to throw her off my primary rotation. That way you have key orb manipulation uh, alongside her. Um, that would be a good consideration. In terms of the Reddit's team, um, now again, I don't know if this was actually maximized for damage output, but this is the team that was recommended by the Reddit. And I also do have to concur that this is a pretty good team. So you, uh, what's awesome about this is the Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku is actually part of this category, which is very interesting to me because usually like th th these guys were not part of any categories. Um, you link him up with the, the LR Super Saiyan 3 Angel or the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, these guys have four link skills together total, and it comes out to a 10% attack buff and five key, which is actually really damn awesome. Let me go ahead and translate that to English. Um, you also have, you're running the Super Saiyan 4 Goku with the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. They share th the three link skills. Those link skills are going to be 25% attack buff and two key, which is kind of on the lower side, but it's not bad. On rotation, you have the other Super Saiyan 4 Goku, uh, the other full power one, and then you have the two units over here. They're not part of the full power category, but they get the 90% attack buff for being tech units, and they give the other units on your team uh, attack and defense buffs. So they are very, very useful. The Gohan gives key as well. Um, he is, yeah, key plus two, attack and defense plus 30% up, and the Vegito is just attack and defense plus 30% up for all, or yeah, attack and defense for all allies, attack plus 30% up. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, that, that's uh, that's pretty much like, a, I guess you would say, I don't want to say an optimal team, but it's definitely going to be an S tier team. I mean, any of these two teams are going to be S tier teams, in my opinion. Um, if you're not looking for LRs, you can take the Broly out of there. You can take the Super Saiyan 3 Goku out of there. Um, that way you could run what you want. I, I, again, I probably, I would definitely bring the um, uh, the Angel Golden Frieza on the team just because he shares some good links with his other counterparts. Most likely I would throw on the um, Golden Frieza. I personally like the form of uh, full power freeze a better uh, if you have him easy aid then i would say bring him because he will tank a little bit better but i would prefer to have the full tank uh, these guys will share the full power freeze and the revive freeze share two key and 40 percent attack buff meanwhile this guy shares four key and a 30 percent attack buff so it's up to you on what you want to do on um, what those two i just want to get lr gohan out of here as well um but you have a lot of other options so, um, again, let's see over here in terms of I would run. I'd probably run the Easy A Go Super Saiyan 3 Goku, um, the, the Kaioken, the Super Saiyan Kaioken Blue Goku, the Easy A, or not, the, the Evolution Vegeta, um, and probably the Omega. Maybe Omega I would throw up in there as well. But anyway, guys, that is some ideas of who you can link together. This is the S-tier team, an S-tier team per the Reddit. This is an S-tier team per me. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And um, stay tuned because I have a whole bunch of other team building guides, including the Other World Tournament, which is finally available here on Dokkan Battle Builder. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you all later. Peace.